بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ناؤ وی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ون امپورٹنٹ آسپیکٹ آف لاجسٹکس اینڈ دیٹ از دی چینل اسٹرکچر اینڈ دی چینل ریلیشن شپس ہاؤ دیز ریلیشن شپس آر بینگ میڈ اینڈ واٹ از دی امپورٹنس آف سچ چینل ریلیشن شپس ان دی اوور آل سپلائی چین سینیریو سو فرسٹ آف آل وی ول بی ٹیکنگ دی فارمل ڈیفینیشن آف چینل اسٹرکچر وچ از ایکچولی گیون بائی امیرکن مارکیٹنگ ایسوسیشن اے ایم اے The formal definition of channel structure is actually the distribution channel as a structure of intra-company organizational units and extra-company agents and dealers, wholesale and retail, through which a commodity or product or services is marketed. So in this definition, there are some important points which need to be emphasized. that is the intra company organizational units so the product is actually what which is moving from within the organization so our product would be the thing once you get the raw material you are finishing it and you are producing it so the that manufactured product now it would be with the extra company agents those agents or those companies or those businesses which are outside that organization and these could be the wholesalers or retailers or any other party through which a commodity or product or the service would be marketed here the objective remains the same you are marketing a product it's not like sales you are actually giving the customer the product the basic objective would remain the same which we have discussed in the marketing concept of logistics that is that the product would be according to the customer requirement and according to the customer needs and it would be provided when and where required by the customer so the focus would remain on the two piece that was if you can recall that was the product and the place so time based requirements are what being emphasized in this definition as well so it is we can say a group of businesses that take the ownership title to products or facilitate exchange during the marketing process from original buyer to the final original owner to the final buyer now here the important point is that there could be some intermediate parties who can actually acquire the ownership or just facilitate the original owner so that the product could be given to the final buyer so these intermediate parties the relationship with those parties is actually what the channel structure is all about interestingly we would be discussing two important channel structures or you could say that we need to differentiate between what is known as the logistical channel and what is known as the marketing channel there is a difference and we will discuss it later so three marketing functions are to be performed by the distribution function in general we can actually have three marketing functions the three marketing functions are exchange logistics and facilitation these are the three functions which relate to marketing and are actually performed by the logistics exchange what do we mean by exchange exchange is simply or a traditional function in which there would be some formal buying or selling logistics yes traditionally we say logistics was about transportation and warehousing that is storage but now we know that it is more than that it is about the integration of the procurement physical distribution and the manufacturing support in an organization and even if we take it to the next paradigm that would be the supply chain integration then you would be integrating your suppliers suppliers as well as well as your retailers retailers that is something for future but here integrated logistics is more than just transportation and storage but the traditional function is yes transportation and storage then facilitation facilitation is about financing standardization market information and risk bearing so these functions are being performed in a channel structure and the channel members who are in a long term relationship now i am using the word long term relationship and later on i will actually emphasize on that 
how long term relationships are created and what type of long term relationships could be there so right now we need to know that there are three basic or traditional marketing functions which are performed by the channel structure thank you